Real Life Moment is an award-winning studio taking photos families will cherish and remember forever. And here with more on her Mount Greenwood business is Real Life Moments owner Bridget Forbes. Bridget, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. You to be here. capture some oh, of the so most cute. iconic moments in a family's life. Yeah. Maternity, newborn, family. I, I mean, milestones. I mean, this is just so awesome. How do you get the subjects to cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So um, it's not as easy as it looks. The baby don't. The babies don't come just how they are, just posed. Um, it takes a little bit of effort. So um, something we call the froggy pose, for example, is where the baby goes like I this. Know. And the babies don't just stay like that for no. safety. Um, I have an assistant, Kelly, who she'll hold the top of the baby's head. I'll take the picture, and then she'll hold the bottom of the baby, and I will take the picture, and then I splice them and put them both together uh, I guess for the baby's safety. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. yes, like, something that. like that. Exactly. Yes. I'm okay. like babies can't hold their heads up. <laughs> no. Exactly. Exactly. There's a little magic that goes on behind the scenes too. But so. you capture the most magical moments. Yes. How do you do that? It's honestly like the best job you could ever have. Yeah. So when a family comes into my studio with a baby, it's literally like magic. Like I feel like glitter is just sparkling in the air. Like it's just, it, there, it's never a dull oh, moment. It's so always cute. exciting. Um, and I never take for granted at any point in time when a family hands me their new baby. Oh. Of course, not without proper hand washing first. Right, yeah. <laughs> but when they hand me their new baby to trust me to, to care for their baby and keep the baby in the safe positions to make the best pictures possible mm -hmm. is I just, I don't ever take it for granted. You come up with some really creative stuff too. Where do you get your ideas for this? I love the ones you have, the firefighter and the uh, the babies in the uniform. Absolutely. They're so, so cute. Yeah, we have a great neighborhood, very diverse, um, all kinds of families, all kinds of different occupations. Um, I have firemen that, I actually just last year had a fireman bring me their twins and we put both babies in each pocket. Of his jacket? Of his jacket. Oh. And they're so proud. Like our policemen, our firemen, our linemen that work for ComEd, they're so proud of their jobs and they're so proud of their new babies mm -hmm. and to put the babies in the hats and the pockets it's it's actually breathtaking and I've actually made grown men cry and oh. I can be proud to say that because it's it's nothing short of magic yeah it's amazing and you did not start in this line of work so yeah. actually yeah by by trade I'm actually a nursing home administrator okay so I am in the state of Illinois and uh, I have a very very strong passion for both seniors and babies and I can respect the importance of both aspects of life okay so I mean how Babies, you get them in such tight little balls like that. How do you get them to stay? So the studio is about 80 degrees. Okay. Um, so there's a little bit of like finesse that goes on behind the scenes. So we have some, you know, nice music that plays and um, it's obviously very warm. I mm -hmm. tell mom to dress in layers that she's going to want to kind of just chill out there. Um, and actually one of our little simple tricks that's super funny is we have a broken dirt double. Uh -huh. And when we turn that on, it's so loud and it's such a white noise to the baby that it instantly calms them. Interesting. Oh, okay. So it's kind of fun. We kind of make a joke out of it. We're like, okay, all these cute little baby sounds and you know, we have Frank Sinatra playing and, and it's so pretty and cute. And then we turn on this little dirt double and it's like and obnoxious yeah. and the baby's just clunk right Knock out. and. Out. Yeah, cool. so. and, and and you have grown from uh, a business in your home yes. to now you have expanded to a space right next to your home, and so you're in a much bigger space? Yes, I am. So actually, the space that I was in before where I'm at right now, it was about 12 feet by 12 feet. Okay. It was like nothing short of like a bedroom studio apartment. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, so I was lucky to get the place next door, which is now 1,300 square feet. Oh Ooh. And since I was able to move into a bigger location, I wanted to follow kind of a pipe dream that I always had. Um, so the front half of the store when you walk in is a newborn boutique, which is it's called newborn apothecary. So we carry all newborn, like zero to 12 months, very specific newborn um, items. So onesies, rattles, baby brushes, and we will assemble gift baskets for you as well there. Oh, yeah. So you walk into the studio and you walk into um, the, the newborn boutique, and then in the rear of the store is where we do all the photography magic. The magic. Oh, that's yeah. That's so smart. So you can get a gift for someone else there or, you know, get a gift for your your own family too. Exactly. And you exactly. were pointing out with all of these big box stores that are going away, mm -hmm. like Bed Bath and Beyond and Bye Bye Baby there's and all this. Place. There's nowhere to go. There's but nowhere you can to go. still come and get a very um, w curated, a very nicely curated gift. Exactly. For someone. So you could come in, you could pick out whatever you want from the shelves, and we can assemble it. We uh, gift wrap for free. We'll do free free local delivery as well, mm -hmm. um, or we can put it together for you. 
I you know, just make it one stop shop, you know. But it's fun because when people come in for the newborn photography, they, they walk in and it's almost like they feel like they're, you know, in Willy Wonka. Like, yeah. they're, like, they're like, oh, can I shop? And, you know, can I buy things? And, sure. you know, because as a new mom, you really don't get a chance to get out. You, no. you know, when you have a week old baby, yeah. you're really not going to the big box stores right. because no. for safety reasons. Right. Yeah. So, you know, when you're able to walk into a store and feel safe and feel it's clean and, you know, c comfortable. And I walk yeah. out with some gorgeous, and gorgeous and yeah, fun, I, cute baby thing. Well, if you want to check them out yourself, reallifemoment.com is the website. Newbornapothecary.com is the shop as well. And of course, they're on 111th uh, and Kedzie in Mount Greenwood. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.